So folks, welcome to Melvani with us with Air Fry Donnelly of, of Nightwish. How are you doing? Good. Very good. How are you? I'm good. And this is Nightwish, the last leg of the few shows. This is the the Hollywood stretch, yeah. as they say. Yeah. yeah. For uh, five more shows to do. That's right. And so loud. Almost <laughs> all the shows. Yes. See it's the list. Right. It's all red. Done. So how's it been response? Because this is like Europe is like a home. Whenever you come, fans they they run and they come to the show. How's it been so far? <laughs> well, it's uh, it's been hugely successful on every level. Okay. Uh, the the fan response has been fantastic mm-hmm. to the to the new album, and that has um, uh, translated really well into the live arena as well. Right. All, as you say, all the show, most of the shows have been sold out, and the ones that haven't have been pretty close to being sold okay. out. So it's uh, it's been hugely. Um, uh, enjoyable for us all. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been a blast. One of the best tours yet. Amazing. Thing. Has there been any kind of crazy tour incidents? Oh, uh, they're all uh, they're uh, apart from the Paris one. Something uh, it's <laughs> happened within like hey, this didn't happen before. Well, there always there always is with this band. You see, we're always in pursuit of fun. Yeah. And uh, most of it on this tour has been because of the time of year we've been um, we've been visiting quite a few Christmas markets. Mm-hmm. And drinking way too much blue vine, yeah, uh, which is a a, a, a mulled wine. Uh, so that's been interesting for yeah. us. Uh, lots lots of hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been great fun. That's excellent. And, and with the the endless form store, you're playing more than five new songs. On yes, this show, which yes, is excellent because it indicates that fans are loving the new tunes live. Indeed, indeed, and that is really gratifying. Uh, the fa- as I said, the fans have took to the album wonderfully well. Uh, we've, we've, by all accounts, by all the fan accounts, it's it's uh, it's entered uh, their top two or three albums right, ever, which is really sweet. Uh, we're we're loving playing the, the songs live. The, the, uh, even though we're pretty tied to the arrangements, we do have a bit of room to manoeuvre right. for, for, for a bit of improvisation, so we've been having really good fun um, uh, realising the music in different ways every, every single night. And we, and we finish with the epic Greater Show on Earth, yeah. which is... Yeah, 23 years. Yeah, long it's days. long, it's long, and that is a challenge. But uh, musically, it's it's sounding better than could, could be imagined. And the production-wise, the visual production, as you'll see tonight, yeah. is quite uh, spectacular. It's amazing because I, you know, I'm used to seeing Steven Wilson's visuals, which are like of high quality. Yeah. It's like a vibe which where you feel the songs yeah, 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 live. Yeah. So I haven't been to any other show where the visuals appeal and have that sort of message. Yes, so uh, I guess tonight is the day. Absolutely, absolutely, and, and, and there is a definite visceral. Uh, impact from the visuals and from the pyrotechnics that we're using for this tour. Uh, again, it's been it's been uh, causing a storm of interest right. among the fans and among the press. Uh, already, uh, this month's Metal Hammer um, has really uh, gone to town on that aspect of it. You know, the fact that we've sold out Wembley and we've got this massive yeah. production. Right. Uh, it's 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 a fantastic thing to see develop. That's amazing. So, you know, like you said, the tour has been going way beyond the expectations, and then there are incidents that happened in Paris. So, was it kind of a security concern within the band? Like, okay, things are. Yeah, know. yeah. There, there was initially. Initially, it was it was felt that uh, some of the shows uh, in the immediate aftermath would be maybe cancelled. Right. Uh, there were a few other bands, international bands, who did cancel, which I'm sure you're aware yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we we thought it vital not to cancel anything. We mm. thought uh, it, it wouldn't do the honour of the people who'd been killed in that atrocious incident. It would dishonour them, and it would also dishonour the fans. So we decided to, um, uh, as long as the the promoters were willing, we, we decided yeah. to do the shows. And it didn't really affect. In fact, it went, it worked the other way. We thought, oh, it might affect the attendance. Right. Ticket, tickets might be down, but yeah. they weren't. You know, okay. people. I think people came out in spite of that, and uh, uh, to make their own personal statements too. That's amazing, and, and the, the live aspect of it, playing the new songs, is is exciting because uh, composing them in a studio, releasing it, let the fans get the you know the Dead songs, right. and then hear them live. 
yeah. it's a different thing altogether. So the, the the essence of my mission I with these new songs, especially like greatest you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like twenty five minutes epic piece. So yeah. do you break it down into two pieces or is it like so we, 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 go, we go straight through start to finish so we have the Richard Dawkins well you have uh, you have the Richard Dawkins up until the the end section because the end section we couldn't really do live because it's mainly just orchestral yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not, we, we, we basically play the whole of um, British on Earth until the final the instrumental explosion part. of yeah. We Were Here mm-hmm. we play up to that point because after that it's very very ambient and atmospheric and wouldn't work live we go out on a bang. Yeah, you know, we finish with a bang. That's amazing. And for you, as well as for Flo, the, the, the acceptance of the vocals on the new album have shined out. Yeah, it's mainly due to Thomas doesn't compromise with that. So Absolutely. Hearing Flo on, on on the album, hearing you. On yeah, the album, yeah. It's it's like a different spectrum to explore. So. That's a great. That's a great observation. And we intend to exploit that more because we have forces now within the band mm-hmm. um, that can really uh, reinvigorate the colours that are available to the band. Uh, and we intend to do that. We intend to explore that on the next album. Next album? Is it only planned? <laughs> I'm not telling you anything else. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you in general, I mean, the instruments, because you have the whistles and the pipes. Yeah. Which are more or less connected to the breath, which, you know, which is being put into yes. And you sing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so, yeah. You know, do you kind of do some short meditation in terms of, because on stage it's more aggressive. You have to sing, you have to, you know, blow air and you basically play your instruments. Uh, kind of, you know, to go things smoothly, sort of like preparation from your well, side. Well, that's, that's, that's an excellent question because I used to, but now, because I've been doing this for quite a while, I don't need, really need to do that anymore. I can just instantly tap into my yeah into the into the not only the mechanics of playing but the, the headspace that I need to be into play. Uh, also now um, it's expanded a bit more uh, from from uh, endless forms most beautiful in that I'm playing stringed instruments as well. So tonight I'll be playing electric guitars as well as as uh, bazooki as well. So uh, the the palette of the band is getting wider. We we'll are getting more and more yes. textures. Well, That's amazing, and how's it been with Kai? I mean, uh, he's, I mean, we know him as an excellent Princess yeah. drummer. I think he was part of a, a grand quarter band back in the days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, he and was. now he's with Nightwish. Like, so, yeah. like, how's it been working with a guy who's one of probably one of the most deepest good human being I've met? You know? he, he, he is. He's a wonderful guy. Um, he's lovely to to be around. We all love him. Uh, we have a fabulous time together. He's a spectacular, phenomenal drummer. Um, how this has really worked is his relationship with Yuka yeah. is very close. They're close friends, so it made it possible for Kai to come in without any um, any uh, psychological problems, uh, as it were. Right. There would be no problems with egos, nothing like that, right. because he was... It was with um, Yuka's blessing that he came into the band. But we all knew Kai from years ago. Yeah. He's, he's been close to the band for a long time. Um, so he slotted in perfectly. And he plays differently to Yuka, uh, but he, he plays with the same spirit right. as Yuka. Absolutely. And how's Yuka doing right now? Is he kind of... He's doing very well. Um, he's, we'll be seeing him on Saturday at Wembley. Oh, so he's... Um, yeah, he's... Is that a surprise which fans are not aware of? Oh, he's not going to be playing with us at Wembley. He's only going to see us at Wembley. Ah, uh, all right. And yeah. Uh, is he, you know, has a discussion being when he will be playing some shows with you in a kind of like... Well, we, we just have to wait and see how things are with, with Yuka. As I said, he's, he, he is, he's really uh, recovering yeah. from his condition. He's right. starting to get a lot better. He's a lot happier, which makes us happy. Yeah, absolutely. Because we are a really tightly knit family, right. this, this, this whole organization. Right. So um, it's it's wonderful to see that he's on the road to recovery and we, we hope to see, see him in the future soon. That's-